going out to our coronavirus coverage as Pfizer has applied for full approval from the FDA for use of its COVID-19 vaccine in people who are ages 16 and older. Quad Forrest Nastahernia joins us now live in the newsroom with what this means for the vaccine and the future of getting people vaccinated. That's right, Justine. Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine is currently administered under an emergency use authorization, but this move could make it the first COVID-19 vaccine in the U.S. to be assessed for full FDA approval. Now, full approval by the FDA would confirm that the vaccine is safe and does exactly what it's being used for without any major issues or side effects. Despite the widespread use of the Pfizer vaccine, the number of vaccinated people ages 16 to 24 still remains low. With a full approval by the FDA, we might start seeing grade schools mandate the COVID-19 vaccine in their immunization requirements. And local health officials think vaccinating children is just as important as vaccinating adults. Children are uh, a pool for spreading this virus to their parents and their grandparents and other people in the community. And the way we're going to get control over this pandemic is to get the bulk of the people in our country vaccinated. And children, or at least childhood, makes up around 22% of the U.S. population. So if we have any hopes for really making our society and our world safe again, children have to be included in this uh, calculus. While it's not clear how long a full approval by the FDA would take, Dr. Schwartzberg says there's a very good chance we could see an approval right around the time that school starts, so possibly in early fall. I'll have more on this coming up on Cron4 News at 5, as well as on our streaming service, Cron On. You can download that for free in your app store. Back to you, Justine.